Okay, at this point, I have uh, just removed the harness by removing the bracket on the back right of the motor, uh, back passenger side. And uh, prior to that, I disconnected the wires from the starter, disconnected the wires from the alternator, took a picture of the starter, did not take a picture of the alternator because it only goes one way. There's a hot wire on the alternator and a ground wire on the alternator and a plug, and that's it. Uh, the fuel pump disconnected up top on the next to the valve cover, uh, black connected with a blue shroud. So that popped loose and uh, allowed me to just pull the harness uh, off the motor. So there it is on the ground. Here's the motor without the harness. Looking a lot cleaner, a lot less stuff to deal with. Uh, this plastic hose right here, that's just a, there's nothing in it. It's just a plastic hose. It's an air passage from this device up to the flame arrestor so that when the motor's running full blast, any blow by gases inside the motor get drawn into the motor and reburn. That's all that is. And there's one on both sides. Um, I don't think there's a PCV valve in this motor, so uh, that's how they get rid of the blow by gases. Um, at this point, I'm fixing to. Uh, looks like the next best thing would be to uh, remove the carburetor, disconnect the fuel line right, disconnect the fuel line right there, and remove the four carburetor bolts and remove the carburetor, and then uh, making some progress. After the carburetor, looks like the next thing would be the thermostat housing and all the hoses that go with it, including this one back here on the back, the uh, power steering cooler right there is bolted to the back of the block. Um, after that, uh, I'll begin working on the front accessories.